So here's something pretty cool. On Unix-based operating systems, and of course Linux, because this is one of those, uh, there's this command line utility called Aplay, which normally is just used to play sound files. Uh, so, you know, for example, So yeah, that's normally how you would use Aplay, but it's not actually limited to just playing sound files. You can technically play any type of file that is on your operating system. Uh, it kind of works the same way as, well, the boomers will know this, it's kind of the same concept as when you would store data on a cassette tape, like we used to do a few decades ago, and then you would play that cassette tape into, well, a cassette tape player, and instead of it playing music or whatever, it's basically just playing the encoded data uh, and making a lot of weird digital sounds. So yeah, you can do that with a play um, with any file. So for example, uh, let's just create one real quick. Actually, I think I have my example file already. Yeah, so this hello file it contains the text. This is what hello world sounds like. And if we a play it, that's what Hello World sounds like. Just a quick little pop. Uh, so obviously much faster than a human being could say it. I guess you could say that computer language is much more efficient than ours. Um, now, because this is a Unix-based operating system, every single thing on here is a file, right? That's one of the basic principles behind the Unix philosophy. Everything's a file. So uh, for example, we can play my RAM which is devmem. So this is what my RAM sounds like. And it's gonna be silent for a little while. Uh, so let's just go ahead and start this bad boy up. There we go. It's starting to make a little bit of sound. So, yep, that's what the RAM sounds like. Yep, that is the sound of RAM. Uh, let's see, I think it might... It's not done yet. Okay, maybe it's done now. Yeah, so that's what the RAM sounds like. Um, now again, everything is a file. So for example, my root partition is also a file. It's deb sda4. So let's see what that sounds like. This is what a Gen 2 root partition sounds like.
So it's just like a constant little tempo sound. Let's see. I wonder if swap will make any noise. Yeah, not quite as interesting as root. Uh, let's see, maybe we can get something out of the boot partition. That one's actually probably the most annoying one so far. <laughs> All right, so for the finale, how about we CD over to our kernel directory and let's see what my kernel sounds like. So that is what this sounds like. <laughs> kind of short, right? It's not too bloated of a kernel configuration. 